Hello, good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for coming back to join me. Um, I've got a couple of unfinished projects that I'm trying to get finished off. Um, last year, I had a couple. I don't know why I stopped. I think this one is an autumn journal. And I think I'd made a couple of autumn journals and just wanted to move on to something else. So I put it away. But I thought we're back in autumn again. So I thought I'd bring it out. I'd actually all I'd done was put the papers together and I had a couple of bits of ephemera left over. So I've picked the fabric that I'm going to use for the cover. So that's going to be on the front. The kits that I'm using are from Andrea Artie Mays and they're her autumn kits. And she's got three. Um, I know one's called Autumn Medley, but I can't at the minute remember the others. But I'll, I'll mention them in the description below. So where have I got to with it? I've put the papers together. I've put some ruffles on the side. I've, in Andrea's kits, she has some words, um, autumn kind of uh, quotes and things. So I've put some leaves on there and put it inside. I've made a start. So I've got a flip here that's an Edith Holden and that flips out. So it's got a pocket just there and a pocket just there. Um, I've done little bits, but not an awful lot. So I've got some of my coffee dyed paper uh, napkin on book page. I've made a pocket out of Edith Holden that I think is going to go on there. So there's there's just some bits and pieces that I've done. Put that on there. I've got a, an envelope that I've made. Um, so you can just see where I'm at with it. Some more Edith Holden. Sorry, I've got the camera right in front of my nose. It must be in a different position today than usual. Window envelope there. I'm not going to cover this side of it because I really like the way that that coffee dye um, worked. But I will cover the inside of it. And then going back the other way, I've got the ruffles. Another envelope. So this is going to be autumn. And I thought I'd just... Oh, in the back as well, I've um, this is an envelope that I've covered... Um, and I've made a little booklet to go in there with just some papers in and some beads. I've not done all of the the couple of bits of pockets I've made. There's a pocket just there and there's a pocket just there as well. So I've not made the ephemera to go in these yet. But I thought I'd make some pockets and then do the ephemera afterwards with what I've got left over. So that's where I'm at and I thought I'd just bring you along with me. So... I think I want to make a waterfall pocket to go inside this. Um, so that's what I think I'm going to do with you today. And I have made these before, so um, skip past this bit if you don't want to see how I do them. I've got a piece of paper here, and this is about 120 GSM, and I've photocopied on both sides of it. Um, I'm not going to use thicker because I don't, I don't want it to feel too cardboardy. Um, if you know what I mean, in the pocket. I don't want it to be too stiff. That's what I think I'm trying to say. I'm going to cut this in half and that's about four and one eighth ish. So I'm going to cut that down the middle. So I've got two pieces that should be about the same width. And I know American size paper is different to the UK. Um, Remember, I need my scoreboard. Um, I know that American sizes are different to UK, so whatever size you want it to be. And I know that four inches. I've done that. Let me shall I start again. I'm all I'm all lost for words, aren't I? I've cut it in half because I know that if it's four inches or just about, it's a nice size to fit in my book on the page. But you can make them any size. It doesn't have to be this size. And as well, by cutting that piece of paper in half, I've got no wastage because I'll be using them. So what I'm going to do with it is I am I know that my page, I know, I'm hoping that my page is about eight inches tall. Give or take it is. So I want the flaps to be the waterfall flaps to be two inches. So I'm going to score that at two inches. And then I am going to fold that down. OK, so that's my first bit. I'm going to leave that like that for now. The next one that I'm going to do. I'm going to fold at four inches. Now, I've photocopied on both sides of this paper just because um, 
I didn't want to cover it all in paper. I only want to cover the front pockets. So I'm going to fold that in half as well. So that gives me a two inch flap, a two inch flap. So I want to cut this at two inches. So I'm going to try and line the, the edge of the flap up with two inches. So however you, um, if you've got a guillotine or however you cut your papers. So I might use that bit in a minute. So that goes two inches, two inches, two, two, two. And I want this bottom bit to be two inches as well. Now I might need to take some off the bottom once I've got it made. Um, because I want it to fit onto my page. If that makes sense. So that's my scoreboard done with. And one day I will get a bigger one. So put those bits up there. So that, in a sense, is my wind, windfall, waterfall. That's the basis of it. Now I've got two pieces of card here. I'm going to stitch mine along that crease very carefully. You don't have to do that. You can, um, you could sew it. Just wondering whether I'd like to do that. No, I wouldn't. You could put, you know, two holes and tie it together. Uh, you could glue it very carefully along that line, but I'm going to stitch mine together. So I'm just going to go and do that and I'll be back with you. OK, back with you. So you can see I've just done a line of stitching there. And then that just means that they will all lift up. OK. So that's that's the basis of you of your waterfall. Now I want to decorate that and I'm going to use this to go on it. I thought that's nice and bright. It won't be all of it, um, but it will. that's the piece that I want to use. I might not get the whole four and a half. We'll, let's see. Now, the method that I use was from um, Jean in Kiao Studio, and I haven't done it for a while, so I hope I'm remembering right. So that measures about four inches. So I want this so that I can um, make sure I get it right to be slightly bigger. So I'm going to say that I want it four and a half, but I only want that four and an eighth. So I think what I'm going to do, hmm, I will lose that. I'm just going to cut this a little bit closer. So I will lose that little bit. of the flower on the edge and then I want I'm going to cut this at four and a half so that it gives me room to play and you'll see why in a minute and as I say if you've seen me do this before apologies um, but I thought I would just bring you along with me while I'm decorating this journal so I'm just taking off the white bits because I don't want those to be distracting to me so I'm going to get rid chop them off Chop them off, gone. Right, so the way that we do this, we just get a nice clean piece of glue book. Doesn't matter which corner you start with, but you need to use the same side every time. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue that, match that corner to that and glue it on. And I'm, for some reason, I've got a little bit of white just there, haven't I? Let's just get rid of that. Must have been a fold in the paper. So that's going to get glued onto there. So it fits that side and I've got the extra here. And that just makes it easier to line up. It is going to be a little bit short at the bottom, but I'm not worried about that. Why worry? So I'm going to get that glued on there and I'm going to put the glue on this, not on there. So let's get started. I hope this makes sense to you all. And I know at the end I'm using glue stick. Um, but round the edges, if there's a bit that hasn't glued, I can go, always go back with um, some wet glue if I need to. All right, let me just pull this bit closer to myself because I want to, let me just 
Sorry, it's really difficult when you've got the camera right under your nose, isn't it? So that's just matched up to the top there and down the edge there. If it's not perfect, I'm not going to worry about it. As I said before, I'm not going to do me dying in a ditch. I'm going to squidge it on nicely. And then I'm going to cut off the excess. So I'm going to cut that off there. And I'm going to cut this extra here. I just found this a really, really easy way to do the waterfall. OK, first piece on. Now you can write on that and you'll be able to write on this bit. And we're going to put the next um, pocket just there. So the way that I make, oh, don't cut it. The way that I make sure I can put the paper right, because I don't want it to go up under there because I want it to match, is I'm just going to put a pencil mark there so that I know I've got to glue up to there and that's where I'm going to stick the next bit up to. I nearly lost it then, didn't I? That's the bit I'm sticking on, isn't it? Don't lose that. So I only want the glue. I think I'm going to put a bit of wet glue along that pencil line. Oh, I tried to put... <laughs> Just try to put my glue stick glue on the little fine tip bottle. What a nana. What a nana. Right. So I've put glue on that bit, only up to that pencil line. And then the same corner, I'm going to match up there along that pencil line and down the edge. Now you can see if you've got it right by just closing it and making sure that it follows, that you've got all your points in line, if that makes sense. But doing it this way, you really do get it all nicely lined up. So fold, cut that again. Don't lose that because that's my next bit. But cut this edge off. So now we have two and you can see that the, the pattern follows. OK, so again, I'm just going to do my pencil line. I'm going to put my glue just up to that pencil line. Along there, where it just gets sticky easy, doesn't it? And then along here. And as I say, I can go back in once it's dry and just make sure I haven't missed a bit. And then same corner, same edge. It's going to go on there. And again, if I just close it, you can see that it's all matching up. That's good. If I could open it, it does get a bit gluey. A bit gluey dewy. I'm going to cut that bit off and that gives me my last piece, don't lose it. Oh, I need to cut that bit off there as well, don't I? It really isn't easy to see when you've got a camera stuck under your nose. But I think doing it this way, I found that I just can't go wrong. Again, my pencil line. My glue. Along there. Oops. Got glue everywhere on that. Everywhere, I tell you. Get rid of that. Don't use it again. Right, same line, same point. On there. Matching up. 
it just needs to go up slightly and I bet it won't it might that's better Stuck my page down, look. One, two, three. There we are. And then that will get cut off there. Now, I know that I've got a little bit just there, but I'm kind of thinking that this um, will need to be cut a bit shorter. Where do I want to put it? Well, it doesn't matter where you put it, Carol, just measure it for now. So if that goes at the top and that goes at the bottom. Actually, look, I can cut a bit of that bottom off. Are my pages all the same? Do I want it there? It looks quite nice there. What do you think? What do you think? Although it looks quite nice there next to October. Yeah, let's have it there. Right, let's get this page out. So that I can just measure it and make sure I'm not going to... About that much. Where did I put the mark? So I'm just going to cut that mark off there cut that mark off I'm going to cut it off to there okay and there we go we've got rid of that little bit that's extra there now just flip it over and make sure I'm just going to cut a tiny strip off there just to get rid of the little bit oops little bits of paper overhang so I've got the four there. Okay, one, two, three, four. The way that I'm going to do it is I'm going to glue it on. I might just glue it two sides and have it as a like a belly band. But I want some ribbon to come down as a closure. So do I want... Hmm, I could use some of this. Let me just have a think a minute. Okay, so what I've been thinking, I bet you smelt the burning, brain in gear. What I thought I would do is put this across the bottom. So I've just put a brad through a piece of um, card um, and that's going to be my tie closure. And I'm going to glue this on. I'm actually going to glue it onto there. I'm, I've thought about having it as a flap, but because that's a bit bigger, it won't open up, so I am going to glue. Glue. I am going to glue that on there. So that's going to be how I'm going to close it, because you don't want the flaps opening, do you? I don't think we do. So I'm going to put that on there, like so. And that is then the closure. And to actually close it, I thought that I would have this bit of ribbon. To go round. Do we think that would work or does it need to be? I think it might need to be something a bit thinner. Hmm, let me think. Hang on. Right. So what I'm thinking is I could use this wax thread because it's a nice autumny colour it's not too thick so it's not going to interfere but it's not going to be very easy to glue onto the back so what I'm thinking I might do is call me crazy I'm going to tie it underneath there can't see what I'm doing I'm going to tie it under there because it's wax thread it should hold itself I'm 
Okay, so I've got that tied on there. I'm going to take it up the back and it will come over as a closure. And I think that does work. So that's what I'm going to do. I don't know if you could see that. Scissors. I'll leave that a bit longer at the minute because I might put some beads or something on. Now I don't want that to interfere. Which way did I go? That way. Okay, so I'm going to glue this bit down. It's all hit and miss, isn't it? A bit trial and error when you're making these things. I think this will work and then that I want that to roughly go up the middle but I don't want it to be interfered with because it's going to be a pocket isn't it washi tape okay I think I cracked it I think I did so what I've done apart from getting an absolute mess oh dear washi tape everywhere is I've put a piece of washi on the back and I've put extra glue and I've tried to flatten it down as much as I can the card and so that will then undo and you can get to those flips what do you think I like it so I think I think it's going to go on that page not that one is that too much orange and orange <laughs> Quite like that. What do you think? So I think I'm going to put it there. Let's take that page out. I'm going to put it on there and then the idea is that it doesn't come past the bottom of the page so that won't get bumped. I think that works, doesn't it? I'm just trying to think. I think I might have it as a. I know it's going to make a bit of a bump in the book, but I think it'll be fine. Do I want it as a tuck under there? I was thinking of having it as a complete belly band. But I think because it's quite bulky, I'm going to glue it on three sides. There we go. My decision was made. I'm going to glue it there. I'm going to glue it there and then I'm going to glue it down here. Okay. And then I want to get it as up to the top. So that will be a tuck spot there. Just squish it in. Sorry, folks. And then the string comes down and it goes around. And then there'll be a little pocket at the back there. But I don't want to mess with that until that dries. So I'm going to put that back in the book. What do you think? I like that. And I do like to, if I put something um, on, one, on one side, I like to put something the other side to try and balance it. And somewhere I've got a few bits and pieces that I'd made last time. And I think I might put that there. So it flips out. I'm not going to have it as, oops, a daisy, as a pocket. So I want to close this bit. It's going to flap out. So I want to cover this bit up, don't I? Hmm. Well, that's about the right size, isn't it? Let's have a look at 
doing something with that on the back. Oh gosh, folks, let me just clear my desk a minute. Okay, I'm going. Yeah, that is glued in. I'm going to close this pocket up because I'm not going to have it as an actual pocket. It's going to be a flip. Then it's a nice area for somebody to um, put a picture or do some writing or or something. I'm going to stick that on there and I'm going to stick it over that to close, make sure that is closed. Like that. We don't want to see those bits, do we? Do you know, I always end up with bits. Look at that. Stuck to me somewhere. Okay. So that's on there. The page. That would help. The page it's going on is this one. It says there, autumn whispered to the wind, I fall but always rise again. There are some lovely quotes about autumn. I'm just going to cut the edge of that off. And that's going to be the hinge that goes on there. I don't feel I've got much done with you folks. So that'll go on there and it'll flip open. So I'm happy with that. Let's get that glued on. Coming together. Oh, oh gosh, that's my wrong glue. Don't panic. I really ought to label that one. That was the art glitter glue and it's gone like water. Don't know why. I think I asked my husband to fill one of the um, one of these fine tip bottles up for me. And I think the glue actually needed a good shake because it had been stood for quite a while. And it's, I've shaken it, shaken it, I've shook it and it's it's a lot thicker now. But when he filled the bottle up for me, it had kind of separated. So I don't think I'm going to use it. So I should really get rid of that little bottle. And that's going on there like that. So it flips out. Okay. Let's put that back in. Okay, so that's those two done. If you feel like hanging around with me a bit longer, I'll carry on to the next thing I was going to do. Which was, what was I going to do? A couple of things, I think. I wanted to do um, one of the check pockets. So I think that's going to go on there like that with a couple of brads there or a, a circle there to wrap round so that's going to go on there and this is the bit that will stick to the page so I need to think about that for a minute this one I was going to do similar Done that right. If that one goes there, then that will fold over. I had a little disc, and I bet I can't find. Oh, there it is. Look. So I want to cut these like um, a tag, just a little one. On there. Oh gosh. <laughs> These are so little now, Carol. Come on, girl, you can do this. You can do it. And they're like that, that's it. Which way looks best? So that will go like that. And I thought that 
go on there and then that one would just tuck behind it. I know it'll be off centre. Does that matter? I don't think it does because it's the closure, isn't it? So I only want it to be a little bit on. I'm going to put a little bit of blue on the edge just to hold it in place. Like that. Will that work? I think I'm going to stitch down there. Yeah, I am. Bear with me while I go and... Okay, so I've just done a line of stitching down there. So that will hold that. That's going to stick in the book and that's going to close. And then this is going to be a tag. So let's find a place to put that, shall we? Get all the pages put in. Let's have a look. Mm. I think I wanted that one to go in just there. Gosh, those builders do make noise, don't they? Will that fit in there? I think it will. Yeah, so I want that to go that way. That's got that on there. It's hard to choose sometimes where to put things, isn't it? I think I might put it there. So I want this to go approximately in the middle and just put some ink around the edges just so it defines it a bit. Oh, that looks better already. I'm going to close it up to glue it on and I'm only going to glue three sides because I want it to be a tuck at the back so that I can put a journaling card in it. There we go. Back myself into a little corner again, haven't I? Go for it, that'll do. Just there. One, two, three. And then it's a tuck at the back if I did it right. Yep. So I don't want to mess with that until that's dried as well. But then that's going to be a tag that goes in there. Obviously that needs a bit of work doing to it. And then there'll be some behind it. So I'm happy with that. Hmm went there didn't it what time are we on 38 minutes I've got those as well that I want to put somewhere I've got a couple of these little little envelopes these little leaves let's stick that in there and then that's done isn't it the edges where did I put that leaf maybe I could do another one of those well that looks quite nice doesn't it leaves are falling and autumn is calling I think I might put that on there one moment okay so I've just stitched around that and I think that'll be nice on there what do you think 
we put it on? I think we will. Let's just do it, shall we? And then, as I say, I'm going to have to go through the journal and um, look at what I can put in these pockets. I think I said to you before that um, I'm not doing reservations on my journals. This journal actually is the very last um, from the list that I had of, of people that had asked to reserve a journal or if I made one in a certain theme, would I save it for them? So this is the very last one. Now, the lady's um, not let me know for sure whether she wants it or not. She said that she is interested and I think that she will watch this video and see whether it's what she wants or not. Um, so it won't be for sale in my Etsy unless she changes her mind, in which case it will be, if that makes sense. There we go. OK, I think I just want to take a minute with you just to have a look at where I am with this. Because um, it's starting to feel quite thick, but I don't feel I've done an awful lot in it. So let's just have a look. So we've got that flip just there. And that's got the journal card, the journal card, and it needs one going in that bit. Oh, have I gone too high now? We've got nothing on there, but I have got these pockets. So I may well put one of those there. I think I might. And if I do that, I would want to put one the other side as well. I don't think I want to the same. That one blends in too much, doesn't it? Okay, they may go there. Um, subject to change, because I often do change my mind. I usually put them too like that. Maybe I will do that, actually. And then two like that. I think I will. Oops, a daisy, there's a pin. A pin in my paper clips, who knew? So they're going to go on that page. And they are going to go on that cage page. And I've got a couple of tags that I can put in there that come with the kit, so that would be nice. Okay. I've got that. That's a tuck spot that I made as well. And I've also got um, I was going to put a belly band on somewhere. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. We'll just put that on there. I think that looks nice with the leaf on. Obviously needs something in there. That's going to be that. That'll open up and it's going to have a tuck spot behind and that's going to be a journal card. And that might go on there. Put that there for now and these if you don't like it it can be gessoed over or you can put something on it so i've got nothing on there yet i might leave one of those pages as a writing page i don't know yet that can be written on as well can't it so i've still got quite a bit to do quite a bit to do that's the flip Need to decorate the inside of that. An envelope in the middle. Decorate that. I think it's looking quite good. We've got that. Goes around that way. And we've got one, two, three. And that's the tuck spot there. I could put a little notch in that bit, but I think that worked quite well, don't you? There, that one, and again, this can be gessoed over if you want to, if you don't want it as it is. That's going to go there, and I think I'd cut that to go on the inside. Too big, I know, but it, it won't be as tall when I've done it, so that looks quite nice. I like that. 
they're going on there and then we've got that at the back okay so i'll leave it there i hope you like it do let me know oh i've got that in a knot i'm so oh dear it's because my paper clips got caught up there we go so that's where i'm at at the moment with my autumn journal i hope you like it um, do let me know but take care all of you thank you so much bye <music>